Okay, we are going to do another video today. Um, I'm going to do a little deer with some antlers. Probably going to stick with camouflage colors, but that may change as I go. Um, no idea why I'm doing a deer. Just decided I wanted to do it, so <laughs> you get to watch. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to start with some browns and yellows, I think. So I'm using a mixture of wet and dry watercolors as usual. So I'm mixing, I'm not using very many pure colors on this one, I'm mixing a lot of brown and black, brown and green, yellow and green. Letting things stay pretty muddy so that it feels like camo colors.
I'm getting a little bit lighter and brighter on this left side. A little more springy with my colors. <clears throat> I'm not really sure why I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm going to add even just a little bit of brighter yellow in here. I'm really liking this kind of sap green kind of color here. Even just a little bit of white showing here and there. So I've got a little bit of a highlight for the eye. And then I think I want to blend this guy out a little bit so that he bleeds like the side of the face. And by bleeds, I don't mean blood. <laughs> I'm not a hunter. <laughs> So since I am planning on outlining at least some of this with black, I need to get a little bit blacker or darker with some of my paint too, so that the black outlining doesn't look too harsh. So I'm just beefing up the contrast a little bit, basically. And then letting it blend a bit. So let's get a little bit darker over the left eye, too, with a little bit of brown. And then I think we'll be... good to blow dry and add some ink.
actually almost kind of like it without any black at all. Or without any ink at all, I mean. A little bit torn. Well, maybe I'll snap a photo of it this way, and I'll post a print online. And uh, that way, if anybody's interested in a print, they can still get one without the black, just in case the black totally screws it up. But we'll have the option. Let me add a couple more dots of little flicks of paint here and there. Ah, I got one in his face. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Blend it out. So as long as you catch things while they're still wet, you can mostly make them disappear. Maybe not entirely, but pretty darn close. Big blobs in there. I like that. A little weight to them. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna zap with that with a hairdryer, take a quick photo of it, and uh, then we'll add some black ink. Okay, so I snapped a couple photos of this and I will post those on several different sites in case anybody's interested in prints of it without any of the black um, outlining that we're going to be adding. And I'm going to go ahead and start to just add some of that black outline now.
so one of the reasons I'm adding the black ink instead of just keeping it as a watercolor, since you can tell I clearly liked it just as a watercolor, um, is that I am going to be learning to tattoo very soon. And I need to get some practice in with getting some higher contrast. Most tattoos that really work seem to be pretty high contrast from what I'm seeing. So I'm trying to get in the habit of pushing that. And I know watercolor tattoos are very popular right now, but in order to have a watercolor tattoo not fade very quickly, you need to have a really strong black base. So you've got to have some fairly firm lines or over time it's all just going to kind of fall apart as the ink spreads through your skin and it's not going to stay as brilliant and easy to read. So I'm just kind of trying to get in the habit right now of developing that nice strong black base so that when I do start tattooing it'll hopefully come more naturally to me. Okay, I think I like it. So, oh, it looks like I got a little bit of running here. So let's go ahead and smush that around. And I'm gonna blur just a little bit of my black as well. And so I was just using a um, rolling ball pen um, when I was doing this. And what I like about it is that when you go to blend it, it actually reads slightly greenish gray rather than just gray gray. And I kind of like that for this painting at least. Maybe not always, but... Okay, I think that is just about done. Got some nice shadows and highlights. Okay, I think we're done. And that is our little deer painting.